So in this video, we're going to use Postman to interact with the Fire Server and create a patient resource on it. So I'm starting off in the Postman screen. I already have the Fire Server's URL or endpoint already in here. What I want to do next is change the operation over here on the left. So get is pretty much a retrieve or a read where when we want to just look at a specific fire resource. In this case, we want to create a brand new resource. And to do that, the operation to do so is post. You can also use a put to do so as well. But puts is usually used to update resources. Post is to create. So in this case, we're just going to use post. So we know to create a new resource. We have the base URL right here. And to tell the fire server what we want to create, what we do next, after the base, base URL, we add a forward dash, and then we will type in the resource that we want to create. So in this case, it's patient. And do note that it's really important that the P is capitalized as it is case sensitive. So we're all set here. We have the base URL. We have a, the resource we want to create and then the operation. Next, we need to move on and go click on the headers to tell the fire server how we are sending the information to them. And this should actually automatically populate. But if you start typing in C-O-N, we want to go navigate to content type. We're going to select that. And next, we're going to do application. And we're going to send the information in a JSON format. So we're going to select that. Afterwards, we're going to go to the body. And we're going to hit raw. Another name that developers commonly use in this case, instead of body, they call this the payload, which is the specific content of the information that we're passing to the Fire server. So for this part, I actually want to grab the Fire uh, patient resource that we created earlier from ClinFire. So I'm going to tab over to that. Here is that resource from earlier. What I'm going to do is just click over here and copy it with the control A if I'm on Windows or a command A if I'm on the Mac. That is copied. I'm going to navigate back to Postman. I'm just going to control V and paste it or uh, command V on a Mac. And I have the payload all populated. So that's all set. So just a quick review. What I'm doing now is I'm posting, which is creating a patient resource in this fire server with this content. And the header tells the fire server that I am setting it in a JSON format. And that is it. The very last step to do is hit the send button. It's going to take a minute. There it is. The status is 201. If I hover over this, it just tells me it's a success, it tells me that the request has been fulfilled. And the very bottom, it spits back out the results of what I just created. So now I have a brand new patient resource with this ID. I'm going to make sure I'm going to remember this ID for later on because we're going to use this ID to work with. But otherwise, everything else is set. I now have a brand new patient resource that I generated on this server.